the tarantula feeling was creeping back up again. See what I did there? But I was only supposed to get one. And then I got two. Apparently they're like tattoos. You never stop with one. Well, hello, my lovely nestlings. And welcome to today's video where I'm going to get ready to go grocery shopping. And I thought I would chat and use some new makeup today. The makeup that I have is... Well, I, I made a makeup revolution order. Yeah, I, I did. I... I um, did a thing. So yeah, if you want to see me smear this on the face. If you want to hear about, well, about um, that I bought tarantulas. Or actually got tarantulas for my birthday. Then this is the channel for you. Subscribe now, become part of my nestlings. Because we are having a blast here on the internet. I'm also slightly orcish, which means, which means warm olive. So it's just all kinds of fun here. I'm like... I want to say a magic ball, but if, if you're Dutch, you know the toverballen. That's kind of how, how I am. And let me explain that it's actually a candy. We call them magic balls because when you when you suck on the ball, it changes color. It's not my usual intro, but we're going to run with it. Yes. Also, I uh, should have washed my brushes yesterday. So they are in a... Yeah. So if you hear me rummaging around, it's that. Um, <clears throat> so I am a sucker for packaging. Um, and, and when I saw this, uh, the way that this collection looked, I was like, I, I want it. It's also in a tin. And I have tried one of their palettes in a tin that I detested. Um, so I was like, do I get it? Do I not get it? But they had a sale. I, I really, really liked how these looked. So yeah, I got it. This is the Mad Love a Joker Harley Quinn palette. I really love the aesthetic of this. I think it's also cool. Um, I, I swatched mine a little bit, so... Here is the color story. Let me let me do it like this. Which is... It's not a bad color story, actually. It's kind of fun. Uh, and then the other one was this one, which is the cream... Their cream palette. And I was actually kind of interested. I don't really know... Maybe it's a bronzer and three blushes or something. But this is the... These are the colors. Maybe there are blushes. I don't know. Maybe I need to swatch them. And... Uh, this I got as a gift with purchase, which I'm very, very happy about because it looks stunning. So it's one of their um, affirmation palettes. Plasticky is still on, but I do really like the color story. And I really like the, the shade names. I don't know if I can show the shade names. So you can see some of them, right? I really, really like this. Um, do I mind? Do I like the pants? Yeah, it's okay. It's it's okay. It's not really bothering me. But yeah, honestly, the best thing that was in this order. There was more in the order that I will get to in just a second. This was the best thing. You know why I needed this, right? Just saying. It's actually a very pretty color as well. So... Yeah, what else was in the order? I got their eyeshadow base, their lid and lock, uh, primer look. And I actually tried it yesterday with a beauty base formula and I yet stayed on very, very well. And then I also got the eye bright corrector that I have used today again. I do notice that you need a hint, a hint, a hint. If you think that you have little, take less. That's basically it. So... As you see, I have already done my foundation um, because I have parts that I kind of want to try of this. I am actually quite curious. So let me swatch the colors. Oh, they feel very creamy. Okay. Okay, so here it's very lightly. I did not build them up or anything. Mm. I like... Oh. I like these two the best, which I, th I kind of thought I would. And um, I think I'm going to use Joker's favorite today. Uh, with a brush. But what kind of brush? I think I'll try it with this one, which I usually use for... Um, foundation that I have on. Oh, that's a pretty color. The foundation that I have on is uh, the one from Glam Shop, shade Olive One, which is too light for me. But I'm also kind of wanting to experiment with the Charlotte Tilbury powder, uh, the shade Medium, to see how much it oxidizes and if it oxidizes to the correct tone, basically. I think I kind of like this. Let's, yeah, I think I do. Let's go to the shade next to it, which is a silent, which is that orangey, to kind of... 
tap it off for a bit. Oh yeah, my bags are on my knees. I, I'm well aware. I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah, so what happened was, well, my birthday happened. So I'm now um, 35 and 11 instead of 35 and 12. So basically I'm 46. And I usually say that at the beginning. So I honestly don't care. Um, I got some very, very fun presents. So the first present that I got was from my sister, which was uh, uh, the For Fox Sake I'm Sleeping I'm Enough t-shirt. It was just, she had it specially made for me. And it was because of the... Um, a uh, Whistler palette from um, Nomad Cosmetics. They had... Where is it? Do I have it here? No, I don't have it here. Um, they have an, an... They have that on there. And I was like, I need that. It sounds so cute. So I want... Um, cream bronzer? Mm, not necessarily. Do I want freckles? Sure. So let me, let me put on some freckles. Makeup Revolution also has a freckle product, but I still have the one from Nabla that I need to try. I bought it, but I have never tried it. Okay, now, do I have any cream products left? No. Um, I did already set underneath my eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury Fair. Now I'm going to use the medium because I'm actually quite interested. I'm going to start at the outer perimeter first. Now the foundation that I have on right now, it is way too light for me. Okay, then I'm cleaning my brush. I'm going to go to fair for the center of my face. Okay, something like that. So that's that. Then... I want to use my kitty highlighter. Highlighter blush. Actually it is, I think. Now this will be a highlighter for some. But a blush topper or a shimmery blush for me. I kind of like Makeup Revolution's highlighters. So that's okay. Let's buff with the powder brush a little. I think that the color is pretty, but yeah, it doesn't matter how the quality is. I have a red cat. Just saying, I needed it. Okay, let's also go to the um, this one, which is kind of, it's, it's a consistency of, it's concealer consistency. So I really have to get used to that because I don't have that usually, not anymore at least. But I know that there are people raving about this formula, so I was like, I really want to try it. Now, I've tried it once yesterday under Beauty Base uh, formula. And uh, I really liked how it performed. So I did not like how it looked when I just put it on. I thought it looked a little bit grainy. But I did like how it performed with that shadow. So, okay, let's zoom you in a bit. Hello. Not that much today. It's, it's a get ready with me. It's not a tutorial. Well, not really true because honestly... Everything I do is tutorial based. Let's let's face it. So something like that. Let's go down a bit. Let's see today. Okay. So yeah, I told you I, I got tarantulas, right? Let's start at the beginning. So yeah, my sister got me a t-shirt. She also took me. Just we we just went and hang out, hung out, hang hung hung out. Yes. English, not my first language. Just Let's just say that. Um, we, ha we hung out. We went to a very cute store called... I don't remember. I will, link, I will link their site down below. They have very cool interior stuff. It's not all vegan though. Because they have also uh, animal skins and all that. So there is that. And I actually got... I'll, make, I'll put a picture up what I got. It was so, so cool. I'm going to start with... Yeah, they have shade names, these shades. But they're on a sheet that I already lost. So I'm going to go to the purple. There's one purple in here. That's the one I'm going to. Um, I'm just going to place it. It is a nice vibrant purple. It's not a dark purple though, but it's vibrant. It's not really a dark palette, so... It 
See what I mean by how that how that base is looking? I don't know. It is it is performing nicely. So it's it's kind of like I don't really know what to make of it just yet. So I'm just going to try it out. Maybe I need to use less, maybe I need to use more. I don't know. And if you have the base, let me know how you like it. Also, the shadow, I don't really have anything to complain about. Honestly, can I make it a little bit more blue? Is that a shimmer? Or is that a... Damn it, that's a shimmer. Oh, that's so sad. I can make it a little bit more cool. So I'm going to go to the... This one. Which is... It looks blue in the camera, but it is a little bit more... It is a bluer. I'm just using the same brush because it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it's more a little bit of a lavender pastel. I'm going to tap it over... And that basically, it does not really darken it up, but it cools it up. See the difference? I like that. I, I do like working with shadows this way. I said this was not a tutorial. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we went there. That was on Friday. My birthday was on Saturday. So we went there on Friday. I did not, I wasn't going to celebrate my birthday because on Saturday I had a cocoa ceremony. Basically what you're then doing is you're working with plant medicine and it's not medicine in the traditional well in the sense that you are used to it It is more It's different if you want to know what it is Google it because they probably can explain it a lot better than I can in a, in a makeup video um, It was my second Coco ceremony And uh, yeah, it was it was so 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 pleasant but I, I was still on the friday so basically on that that's why i uh, wasn't going to uh, celebrate my birthday because i basically wasn't home anyway um i also wanted to use the green so the green i want to do here oh yes i also wanted to use the minty right but shouldn't i have done the minty in this in the Center of the eye, I don't know. I'm going to go to the minty. It's a minty. It's a minty. I, for I forget. I'm sorry, I forget the hold of the palette. But there's basically, if I say the mint, there's just one mint shade in here, you know. So yeah, but... Yeah, I also got the tarantulas. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm kind of hopping all over the place, I'm sorry. Um, Let me tell you. Let me tell you the story about the tarantula. So basically, I have been saying uh, that I am the spider for quite some time. I do uh, work with spirit animals, and yeah, one of the animals who has been with me for quite some time is the spider. I also used to be very much afraid of spiders. So yeah, that's that's kind of a thing, right? <laughs> I'm not completely... I don't like all spiders. Let's just say that I never kill them. I always put them outside. But I had a healthy... kind of like what this is looking. A healthy, healthy respect for them, basically. But I have wanted a skin of a... I'm going back to the purple. Just the brush that I use with the purple to mix it a bit. I have always wanted a tarantula skin. I've wanted one for years and I could never really find one. Which is kind of odd because now they're everywhere. But yeah, then then not so much. Uh, I'm going to dip back into the two purples that I used. I do remember a few years ago that my son was like, I want to get a tarantula. And I was like, well, I don't know if I am up for that. And I kind of wanted one then. Uh, but I was I was like, I'm, I'm very much, yeah, I don't know. Then it came back up again, <clears throat> not too long ago, back to the green. Not too long ago that I really felt like I needed more spider energy basically so that i needed a skin of a tarantula can i can i combine the purple with the dark blue i think so the the dark blue is actually a shimmer but for underneath my eye i actually think i can make that work so let's go to the dark blue purple and then i'm going to go with the same brush into the dark blue shimmer do i like that that was not really the plan but apparently the dark blue shimmer is kind of taking over Okay, let's go to the purple then. I'm just putting it on top because I kind of not want it blue. But apparently it kind of is blue. Damn it. 
Let's spray the purple, see what it does then. And yes, you can. You can spray a matte shade. It's a little better. Okay, let's get a little bit of the pink shimmer. Put that on top. It's a bit better. I'm making a Franken, a Franken look again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually between these two to try and make a little bit of an orange. I should be able to. So first in that redder shade, and then in the yellow shade, and a little bit back and forth. Same brush. Ah, oh, yeah. That was kind of what I wanted. A little bit of the yellow. It's another pea cookie moment, which is fun. I kind of like, I like playing like this, you know. Uh, I was talking about the tarantula. So, basically, uh, to make a long story a little bit shorter, <laughs> if I can, I, I, the, the, the tar tarantula feeling was creeping back up again. See what I did there? So, I was looking around, I... We then we watched a new show from uh, Jonathan Van Ness on Netflix, where he just goes to do stuff. I also have a white shimmer here. Let's go to that one. There's also a glitter in here, which I'm not going to use. It doesn't feel like a bad glitter. I, I don't know, though. It feels like a very fine glitter. So it would feel like a glitter that I wouldn't mind using. I'm just not going to. What am I going to do? On the lid though. I can clean it up and put the... the I can do that. Um, for that though, I'm grabbing a different primer. Because if I want to clean up my lid with for a matte shade, I always use this primer from Catrice. Which is very liquidy, but also very, very sticky. So it grips onto the matte shade very, very well. And then basically with a flat brush... It's the same as you would do a cut crease with a concealer. I'm just using an eyeshadow primer. And I'm just looking down and I'm cleaning up my lid. I grab the orange mat and I'm going to put that on the lid. Um, so we watched Jonathan Van Ness. Um, his first episode was about... Um, Insects. I love insects. Well, not all, but a lot of the insects I really do. Oh, this is a nice vibrant color. A lot of the insect insects I really, really do like. So, uh, you know, with the exception of mosquitoes and yeah, I, cockroaches. I don't know. They just. I don't. I just think they're gross. What can I say? It was actually, and I will link their their uh, channel down below. It's. It was from the tarantula collective uh, i have been binge watching a ton of their videos because one of you actually um recommended a few spider channels which i have been checking out and they still have basically videos that are current you know i really like their channel i like the vibe as well i'm just putting that uh, matte shade on top of the shimmer Nice, that's nice and vibrant. And then I'm going to go back to the purple. Uh, I'm going to go to the bluer purple first. So, um, because maybe that is a bit better to help kind of fade the two shadows into each other a little bit more. Even though... Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the... Have fun! To the pink, actually. To mix the two. Pink mat. Oh, the birdies are sounding so nice. Um, but yeah, they they actually showed a pink toad tarantula. And basically it's a tarantula and it has pink ballerina slippers on. And I was like, oh, I want one. So my husband actually said, that's all fine and dandy that you want one, hun. But you need to make sure that you can handle one. Um... That you dare to take it out of the tank if you need to. You know, that you're not freaked out like when the snake is escaping. I have to call him and say the snake is escaping, you know. Because I don't want to... 
I don't want to handle the snake. So um, the bitch always wants to bite me. So there's there's that. I kind oh I like this. I like how this is looking. Clean brush. Just fade over everything a little. So uh, I placed an ad on or yeah kind of an ad, an ad style like thing on Facebook um, here for here where I live. I'm going back to the green again uh, to. Yeah, well, basically ask if someone could, uh, you know, help me see if I like the spider. So, uh, I am going to go to this, this shade now. You have quite a bit of shade here. And I'm going to put that in between the green and the orange. Because this is a, oh, a little, oh, this is cutesy. A little bit of a yellower one. I'm still in the matte shade. But I kind of want to have it flow. I actually kind of like the quality of this one. Not gonna lie. This is way better than the previous one that I had. I am going to grab the yellowy shimmer on a kind of a fluffier brush. Because I kind of want to dust it over a little bit. So yeah, there was someone who reacted and said, I have spiders and you can come and look. So that's what I did. Um, it kind of freaked me out at first, but... He put spider on my hand and it was almost like a spiritual spiritual experience. It was just so, so cool. Uh, then I was like, yeah, I know, I know I, I want spiders. I, yeah, I do. I do. So that's basically it. I like how this is looking. This is, that is, that is how it started. Um, what kind of eye pencil do I want? A minty or a green, I think. Or maybe a light... Maybe a light, light, light. Maybe this is fun. This is from Colourpop. It's actually uh, the shade Meadow from the Bambi collection. So yeah, I had spider on my hand and it was just so, so cool. It was not doing anything. It was just sitting there. It was just, I don't know, putting one paw up to feel the air a little bit. That was basically what it was doing. And it was just... It was just so, so cool that I was like, yeah, yeah. And then then there was someone who reacted and said, uh, underneath the same post, who said, I have a spider for sale if you want one. So I had been DMing with him back and forth. Turns out he lives at the end of my street. Um, and he said, uh, I have this one for you, which is a Mexican red rump. Uh, I'm going to show pictures of spiders now and the pictures of my spiders. So if you are afraid of spiders, I don't know, make sure that you just uh, listen, look away. And I will tell you when the pictures are gone again. But I am going to show off my spiders because I know there are also people who want to see them. So the spider pictures are coming now. So yeah, you see me holding the first spider because we had a nice picture of that. So the spider that I, the spiders that I have right now, and I will put up uh, good pictures that are taken from from uh, Google, so that you can really see what the spider is looking like. Because mine are kind of like we we are going to hang out and we are not going to uh, pose in front of the camera because we ain't we ain't all about that life. So basically, the one that I have that's the biggest one. It's a Mexican red rum spider. Uh, I think they're calling it a T Wagon. Um, and you see the picture and it's just, it's a very, very pretty spider. Uh, it was a very chill spider as well because the person that I bought it from uh, has ADHD and he was very, very high in his energy. And the spider was like, I don't really like that. Um, but still, it was very, very chill. It didn't bite or shoot his... Uh, his burn hairs off so very very chill and then when he put it on my hand the spider was honestly like ah, someone with chill energy i like that so yeah it was it was very very cool so that's the biggest one that i have and i still have to have to name that one because i don't really know if it's male or female just yet um and then the other spider that he actually gifted me because i bought the spider including the terrarium the spider that he gifted me is a brazilian black uh and you see the picture it's a it's such a stunning spider with a black glossy coat they're they're very big when they grow up um but they're also spiders that you can handle if you want to it's very nice species for that and um not that that i am necessarily going to handle my spiders a lot but i do want to handle them because yeah just that's just not not a lot but i do want to um and um but mine is a baby 
Mine is honestly, honest to God, it's a baby. You see picture there. It size wise, it is um, basically like my. The body is kind of like my my the top of my thumb, I think, from front to back. So in length, so it's not big. It's not big at all. Uh, it does have a big bigger enclosure than you see on the on the picture now. So it basically has an enclosure that's like this now. So yeah, I will I will pull down the spider pictures so it is safe to watch if you are uh, afraid of spiders there are no spider pictures just the gloriousness that is me which is sometimes scary enough eh? as it is okay let me put all my uh, eyeliner and falsies um, can I do that while I'm talking to you probably we, we will see if I can and um, so yeah now I have to get crickets today because the, they haven't eaten in a week which is fine they can they can last that long i do have i did get them heating mats because i know that they are saying that if you are comfortable your spiders are comfortable well i am wearing a sweater or sometimes two sweaters in the house so i'm like you know what let me get heating mats and they really seem to like that so that's good uh i also got some moss and some fake plants for in the terrarium i know they probably don't care but i do But yeah, the, the, the tiny one, it's, it's moving around quite a bit, actually. So the tiny one's moving around quite a bit in its enclosure. It's hopping from one place to another. And he does, both, both spiders have room to basically burrow. Now the bigger one, she was cleaning a house yesterday, I think. So <laughs> she is really um, making a, a hole in the ground. And the, the tiny one doesn't because I... Um, I don't know if it's because it's a spiderling or if it's uh, the fact that their species doesn't uh, burrow per se. They're more of an opportunistic burrower. That means that uh, they basically use the hole that's already there. That's kind of what they do. What is the fault? Yeah, I want to do my baby dolls. And I am looking at a kind of a small terrarium for the tiny one or maybe even a, an aquarium. I did get an aquarium from a friend. Um, that I can use for the Mexican one uh, because I can really put in a lot of substrate which is what they call the the, the ground basically what, they, what you put in um, but I have to fix the top first because now it's not, not the way that I want it so and I, I personally just feel that the terrarium that he has is too small it's probably not true There are a lot of different opinions out there. Some people are like, this is the, this is what you have to do for a spider. And then there are people who are saying, uh, you have to put them in an enclosure that's, that's a maximum of this size because otherwise they cannot find their prey. You know what I'm like? I'm like in the, and I know that these are spiders that are not from the well, but because these are all breeded here, but still he's not sitting on a stamp, you know, so... If the terrarium is a little bit bigger than what they recommend, I don't think it should be a problem. Uh, but but we shall see. We shall see, we shall see. I do need to double uh, glue my falsies because it's shitty weather outside. We're getting Storm Dudley. I don't exactly know when this video is going up. I hope soonish. If it's up before my Beauty Bay video, then my Beauty Bay video is coming. I actually did five looks with the Beauty Bay palette, the newest one. So yeah, uh, in a nutshell, if you are deeper than 10, I think it will look ashy. I'm not sure, but I did really like the formula. I had two shimmers that kind of crystal me a hint, but it also was shitty weather outside. So take that with a grain of salt. But um, suffice to say, I really, really like that. And it has a lot more depth than you would uh, think being kind of a pastel palette. So I hope that's helpful. I don't know if it has been restocked already. What is today, Wednesday? I kind of want to have this video up today and then maybe the beauty bay tomorrow. I, I hope I will have it up soon enough. But yeah, I know that a lot of people are also asked, asking me, if you want to know how I put on my falsies and my liner, I do have a video on that. It should be listed in the description box. Basically, I, dub I double glue. So I put glue on my eyeliner and I put glue on the falsie. If I really need them to stick, it's the method that works best for me, actually. Everyone has their own method, 
but I actually think it's a very nice trick uh, if you're trying to learn lashes because usually, usually we know how to line very close to the lashes, right? So if you do that with your glue as well, you at least have the glue where you need it. So if you then stick on your falsie, yes, uh, you are basically have it close to your, just experiment with it. That's, oh no. It doesn't always go well as now. Because my falsy is doing all kinds of wonky stuff. Now oh, apparently my eyelid wants to glue a little bit over the falsy. That's fine too. In my case that's okay because I have enough lid space for that. So I can just basically push my eyelid a little bit on top of my falsy. That's okay. So yeah that was the tale of how I basically got the spiders. So I got my spiders Friday evening the 11th. And it, it just transformed the whole energy in the house. It was just so, or at least that's how it felt for me. So they are where I can see them. I'm putting eyeliner on top again to hide the glue. I am putting mascara on top now of my lashes. It's a tube mascara. It will not eat up your falsies. Um, this is one from Essence. Uh, if you are like me and you want to do your falsies before your mascara, you can. If you have a tube mascara, it doesn't eat up your falsies. At least not for me. And now everyone always says you should not put mascara on your falsie. And I agree. If you have a regular mascara or waterproof mascara that you need to take off with makeup remover. Yeah, this, this you don't. Okay, so let me put on lippy. I like it. This is a matte liquid lipstick in the shade... So I don't know if they still sell these, but I really do like it. And I really do like how the look turned out as well. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed um, by the stuff that I used today. Not gonna lie. This one I'm kind of excited about. Because I love my cream products. I love how this is looking. And I think that I will really, really enjoy using this. So yeah, there, there is that. Um, yeah, the kitty highlighter. I like the color, so I will use this one. It's just, it doesn't matter. And the eye base, I kind of like the eye base as well. But I'm going to try out uh, the eye base. I'm going to try out the under eye corrector more. I'm going to try out the blush palette and the highlight. The highlighter is a win anyway. Um, this also is kind of a win. Why? Because I love the packaging. Uh, and I think that the shades that I used, which was quite a lot, they performed very well. Now the mattes performed beautifully. I feel I could really nicely play with the tones of them. And the shimmers, they, they felt normal. They did not feel like that weird, weird potty texture that the other ones had. So yeah, overall, I am very happy with my purchase. What was I saying again? Yeah, I, th I think that, that, that that's... That was kind of it about the tarantulas, wasn't it? Um, I'm very happy that I have them. Uh, will it remain with two? I don't know. Uh, it was uh, I was only supposed to get one. And then I got two. Apparently they're like tattoos. You never stop with one. But we will see. Right now I cannot wait for my black one to grow up a little bit bigger. And um, Because yeah, now it's very, very tiny. Um, I also got some other... Very, very cool gifts from my bestie. I got ears for on top of my headset. I got a fake cat skull for in terrarium. That's that's in the terrarium right now. And I got an, a Scottish Highland stuffed animal. It's just so cute. And then from her mother, I actually got a spider backpack from the Adams family, which is very, very sweet. She had that one laying around for eons and was like, I'm going to save it for her birthday. So that was so, so sweet. So yeah, so overall, I had an amazing birthday. Thank you guys all so, so much for all the birthday wishes. Uh, I had a lot of fun chatting to you guys. I had a lot of fun putting on the makeup. Let me know down below your thoughts. Do you like Do you like this? Have you bought anything from this collection? Uh, let me know. And... Let me know if you have any spiders. Yes, give me name suggestions. I do have a... I, we, also have, we already have a name for the black one. It's Morticia. If it turns out to be a male, we will just call him Mortician. Um, uh, the red one, the Mexican one, I don't really know yet. Because I don't exactly know for sure if it's male or female. So... When I know that, we will have a name. Maybe we will have a name contest. And the one who wins, I don't know, gets the, gets the name, the tarantula. I don't know. 
something like that leave me your name suggestions down below if you have a spider let me know which one let me also know uh, the names that you gave them yes and if you want to send me pictures on instagram go send me pictures of your spiders on instagram so yeah guys that was it thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i am going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening my your foundation always match your neck and i will see you super soon in my next one bye Thank you.